Hello, I am Solaj Alfred. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The ePoll is brought to you by Flow for the moments that move us. All for great savings, right? Flow gives you up to $80 a month off your mobile by just adding it to your home bundle. Enjoy the fastest internet speeds and free mobile calls from your home phone. Plus HBO and free internet speed upgrade. That's more value while you spend less. Switch today. Bundle and save up to $80 a month off your mobile. Call us at 1-800-804-2994 or visit us in store. Flow, keeping you connected. Terms and conditions apply. Acting Commissioner Milton Daisy has officially gone into retirement following 36 years of service. Over the past eight months, Daisy headed the force in the absence of Commissioner Severin Morsheri, coming in for much praise from Minister for Home Affairs, Senator Herman Gil Francis, and the President of the PWA, Travis Chico. So, we asked, do you think the former Acting Commissioner Milton Daisy made a positive difference to the police force? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 70% said yes, 25% said no, and 5% did not know. We took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. I think they, um, there should be more leadership, better leadership. You have pressure, you are your commissioner, you have everything on your hand. So sometimes you don't know what to do. You're just there waiting for your time to move. Anyway, I don't say you didn't do a good job. But there's still a people that was better than him anyway before. Do a better job than him. Well, there's not a good sign, but there's not a good concern the police, you know. Maybe they're doing a good job, maybe they ain't doing a good job. I finally did a good job because um, a lot of crimes, there are a lot of crimes that are happening now. They are they're still like they in, into investigations. So I think Keith did a good job. Well, I believe he was in a, 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 a work a, a little way. It was, it was, it was good, you know. But he, he had need to do a little more, you know, to ensure his his peak. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. He was always on TV updating us of the the happenings. So I think he did a very good job. Yes, he had he had a good impact in the force, and the force was right on top when he was there. Yeah. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. St. Lucia is one of the world's most tourism-reliant nations, with tourism accounting for about 65% of the nation's gross domestic product, GDP, before the COVID-19 pandemic. Prime Minister Alan Shastny has argued that there is no replacement for tourism on the horizon and that the economy can diversify around the tourism industry. Others have argued that the heavy reliance on tourism makes St. Lucia vulnerable to the slightest shocks in the industry as in the case of the current COVID-19 pandemic. So, we ask, should St. Lucia work towards lessening its reliance on tourism? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsenusha.org or Facebook at htsenusha official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584 for hts That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, as a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your EPOL response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes to for no, 3 no comment, and 4 I don't know. Join the discussion from your Flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our EPOL team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HDS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.